we going to do tonight? I don't know, Stu. I, you know, Spaz called. He said he was going to pop over. Spaz? <laughs> How are you doing, Ken? Yeah, Stu? A quick pop over. Yeah, that was a quick one. So what do you guys want to talk about? Well, we thought we'd do a little interview with you. How's that sound? That sounds okay to me. All right, great. Well, um, what do we start with? I got an idea. Look, you you look a little unconventional, I'd, I'd say. How'd you develop this look? Well, actually, it started about 1977 in a punk club called The Mass, which was the forerunner of the whole punk scene in L.A., which originally started in London. And uh, the whole idea was to rebel against fashion and hairstyles and, and different things. You know, it was uh, not so much political like it is today. It was just more of an art statement. You know, it was more uh, the L.A. art scene at the time. It was the latest happening thing. It didn't really have a label on it yet. It was not not at the moment. Early. Not at the moment. It did have a label in England, but it was very new in L.A. and there were maybe 200 people, possibly more at the most, when it first started in 77. So but what, that started out with the mask, right? I, that started out with the mask, and uh, everybody I it. developed my look over since that period of time up until now, since 77 until now. And it changes every day, as you, as you guys should know better yeah, than anyone now. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like your look. I think it's really good. Thank you. Now, you worked, you worked on a lot of videos, Fab. Yeah, I've worked on a few videos, I guess you could say that. Like, um, I guess, Debo and... Yeah, I worked with Debo and Tony Basil and uh, Talking Heads. And I just worked on a video with uh, Jackson Brown. And uh, I did costumes for that and hair for some alien children. And then you were the, you were the clown in, in the Devo video. Uh, right. Uh, 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 right. That was so we see you in shopping a lot. Yeah, yeah. Shopping. shopping. Yeah, I've done quite a few. I also um, did two BBC specials, two Tony Basil specials. They're just, the first one re-aired this year again. It was the third time it aired, and a new one is aired that we filmed this year. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You guys have seen them. Yeah, they're good. good. Really good. Thanks. So what do you think? We should go into some fashion, huh? Why don't we? That sounds great. Let's, that. Let's okay. go into some fashion. Earlier this time, you can see there's a lot of zippers involved, and uh, it's a two-piece suit. This one here, I bought some of the fabric in Japan. I think it'd be very popular over there. It can also double as a blazer, or... You can take it off and you're ready for action with your shirt underneath. Hey, let's go, guys. Okay, now this next one coming up here is made of nylon, space age nylon, and iridescent taffeta. And I like to combine structure with my design, as you can see. Now this one here, I'm also influenced by the Orient, as you can tell by this pose here. And uh, this is one of my newer looks, kind of a kabuki look. This one also a newer kabuki look. Uh, this fabric I designed myself, uh, it's airbrushed. There's a pocket there, as you can see, a removable neck. Okay, underneath we have a shirt, pants, and vest. The vest can either be worn this way, or you can unfasten the buckle, and it can be worn just straight down like this. Now this one here, you're all wondering what this is. Well, I'm going to show you. Okay, this is a spacesuit that I designed. And the original design is a copy from suit worn by the same pilot as the X-15. But this is my own creation. It's all made from scratch. The design is just copied from that. As you can see, there's a lot of detail in here. I use lacing and a lot of snaps. And this actually is a pair of pants, a jacket, gloves, and the neck piece comes off as well. There's clear plastic tubing, as you can see. Eventually, those will have lights in it. And uh, as you can see, I use a lot of hardware, zippers and snaps, clips. And this one here, I'm going for the very space-age look, as you can tell. And uh, a 
Well, I got started making clothes back in about 1978, and uh, I did first designed for Fiorucci in Beverly Hills, and now I'm a freelance designer, and also a musician, performer, singer, artist, and whatever the job needs to be done, I'm there to do it. Okay, now, this has gloves, which you can see, and there's a lot of detail in these gloves. They're not quite finished yet, but, as you can see, our time has run out. So we'll talk to you later, and back 